The Civil Society Legislative Advocacy Center says the next phase of President Mohamed Buhari's anti-corruption program must be anchored on a clear strategy, active support and the involvement of citizen groups including the legislature. The group briefed journalists in Abuja. TVC News correspondent Kevi Balogo was there. This civil society center is concerned that corruption remains pervasive and perhaps a single factor behind the continuous depreciation of the socio-economic capital of Nigeria. And it says this is contrary to the promises made by the government to rid Nigeria of corruption on the onset of the administration in 2015. According to the 2018 Transparency International Corruption Index report, Nigeria scored 27 out of 100 points. Civil society activists believe that the anti-corruption fight must prioritize prevention and sanction to win back public support and increase the cost of corruption for everyone, no matter their office. Nigeria has not improved in the international comparison in regard to perception of corruption. As a matter of fact, you did, even, you did not even need international organization to tell you that there's a corruption. Everyone knows that there's a corruption in Nigeria and uh, you know, I don't think this is a quotation. The Nigerian government has covered quite a lot of ground when it comes to the fight against corruption in the last four years, like the creation of the National Strategic Plan of Anti-Corruption in 2017. Nigerians still believe that a lot more needs to be done in the area of implementation. There are certain things you see in the society that does not really tell the truth about the corruption fight. Yes, it's a good fight, but it tends to be a little one-sided. Statistics have shown that Nigeria is among one of the countries that have or has the that has a high prevalence of corruption. So we encourage the federal government of Nigeria to, to fight this corruption scourge. It has eaten deeply into the fabrics of Nigeria. Expectations are that this administration should ensure that the key sectors of the country, like the petroleum sector, health and education, should be cleaned up and rid of corruption. This, they say, will cut down on the continual deterioration of the country's economy. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.